we've been given uh, questions in, for equilibrium here that uh, involve calculating the equilibrium concentrations when you have a K value given. Now, what I've been doing is I've been basically saying, hey, you know, we're starting off with a certain concentration of reactants and we don't have any products. And so when we do that, obviously we've got to lose from the reactants to gain products. And now, look, I've just, here we've got a, re uh, a reaction occurring, but we have concentrations of the products in this case and none of the reactants. You know, it would be really silly to go change equals minus x here and plus here and plus here. How can this lose from itself when it has nothing to begin with, right? So please be logical. And you know what happens when my students do questions like this and they shift and write the negatives and positives in the wrong direction? And I know that this upsets people. Well, sometimes students <laughs> get upset with this because what I do is I take off twice as many marks for not, get, for not doing the chemistry right. Sometimes you make math errors, and I'm very lenient with that. But when you make a chemistry error, that's really, that's just, that's so depressing. And so you've got to actually just get dinged for that sort of thing. And I'm going to show you how you can get really dinged then making a chemistry mistake coming up here when we do this and change the circumstance. So look, if there's nothing here, well then we gotta, we gotta, the reaction has to move in this direction. We have to lose here, lose here. So this would be the minus x, minus x, and this would be plus x here. And then you would carry out and do the question, right? Okay, no problem. Because this was the previous example here, so we could just do it in that direction. No sweat. Now, what happens if you have this? You have an initial concentration of everything. Oh, well then, um, well, maybe we're at equilibrium, and we could be. If you take these numbers here and plug them into the equilibrium expression for this, do you get that number right there? And actually, if you think about it, just look at it. No, you're not going to get that number, are you? So if you don't get that number, you're not at equilibrium. So if you're not at equilibrium, the reaction has to move to get there. But which way does it shift if you have concentrations of products and reactions, concentration of everything given? If you had even one zero on, on one of these sides, you could then know which way to shift. You have to shift in the direction that makes some of that chemical. So if there was a zero here, you'd actually write minus x here, plus x here, and plus x here, right? But if you've got concentrations of everything, what are you going to do? Well, you plug it into the expression and you see where you're at. And that's called calculating Q. It's not K because whatever you get here might not equal this. So if it's not K, it's just the quotient. It's this divided by this, so we call it Q. So what is it? Well, look, calculate Q first. And what are you going to get when you have Q here? You're going to take, that's the concentration of the H positive times the concentration of the HS negative. It's all divided by the concentration of the HS, uh, H2S. If you plug in 0.100, and that's going to be squared over that number there, 0 0.10. What that is going to be is 0.1 cancels a 0.1, which leaves you with, uh, it's going to leave you with a 0.1 uh, over uh, 1, which is going to be 0.1. Right, okay. So all of that's going to equal 0.1. Duh. Now, if that's the case and it's 0.1, well, where are you? Well, <laughs> If this Q value is 0.1, and you're supposed to really be at 8.9 times 10 to the negative 8 to get K, that's way too big of a number. That's 1 times 10 to the negative 1, and that's 10 to the negative 8. You have too much product, don't you? Because that means this number is too high. You have to make this number lower and this number higher to make a small number, right? So think about it. This number is too high. So the point is this. When your Q value is greater than K, the reaction is going to shift to the left to actually decrease the amount of product that you have. Now, conversely, if Q is, is less than K, you have to shift to the right to be able to make more product because that's in the numerator and that makes that number bigger. Does that make sense? Sure. And by the way, if Q equals K, you don't have to shift anywhere because you're already at equilibrium. Great. So those are the rules there. Now, what do we have here? And by the way, it's not even a rule, right? It's just logic. Just apply your logic. You don't have to memorize a whole bunch of things. Well, when Q is greater than K, I have to shift this way. No, just look at it. Point 0.1 is too big. This is too big because it's in the numerator. Numerator too big. Get rid of stuff. That means you have to lose from there. And so what happens is 
now that you know which way to go, and I always do my little Q calculation off to the side, and then don't ruin anything here. So then I say, yeah, I gotta lose X here and lose X here and gain X here. And then, by the way, then you can go now and do the rest of the question, right? Here's the thing. If you actually wrote minus X here and plus X here and plus X here and messed it up, do you know what would happen? You could do this calculation and in the end, if you messed up these, the, by putting a negative here, positive here, positive here, your value that you're going to get for x when you calculate x in the end is going to be a negative number. Now a lot of students are saying, well I can't have a negative number, so oh that just means it's a positive number and I'm going to switch the sign and then finish the question. You know what I do? That's where I take off extra marks. And I'm telling you why. Because it's not making any sense. There's no such thing, you can't lose a negative substance. You can't lose a negative quantity. It's a positive quantity. If you get a negative, it means you've expressed the chemistry incorrectly. And I don't care about math, I care about chem. So if you're going to actually write something here and go minus plus and plus when it's supposed to be minus minus plus, you are expressing something that shows a lack of knowledge and that's where you get dinged. Now did that sound mean? I'm sorry if it sounded mean, but that's the way it's supposed to be, right? Sometimes we've got to get mean, and we've got to get nasty about something. We have to stand on principle, and that's the principle that I choose to stand on.